Hello everyone, this is the introductory lesson for the free series bringing it to you by all the amazing patrons. And on this series we are going to see how to create and how to work with action with a lot of tips and how to work part by part with each of the techniques that I have been learned and have been trying to not to commit on the error side. And first, for the very beginning, we are going to see how to create a guide description. For that, you select your model or the faces. You can either work with model or with faces selection where you want to grow your action uh, description or your hair. When you're working with the description, you want to select or you will be trying to select not uh, just the parts that you want to grow the hair let's say that I want my hair to grow from half of the sphere but I'm going to try to select more than that like two more faces or a, a minimum of space more than that mostly because you can create a map to reduce the amount of hairs around that part and that's going to give you a better gradient or a better fall off from that hair from the space that you want to achieve or for the side that you want to have your hair growing and you are going to have a more believable uh, result around that so always try to select more than the side that you want to grow the hair or if you want you can select all the, the model and try to grow the hair and to create the map but from some models it's better to create it that way there's another part that some people create an scalp and a scalp it's a uh, extrusion or a uh, extraction sorry from that side and just uh, model or grow the hair from that uh, part of the model that depends on the workflow that you want to create I always prefer to grow it from the model itself depends on the animation the rigor and how does the studio or your workflow your workflow going to be so let's move to the action tab let's open the description tab here where you are going to be able to create a new description, import a description or import a preset. And here we are going to select create new description. First of all, you need to set the project. It's for utmost importance. You need to set the project with a new project here. Let's say that I'm creating the X and X and that's going to be where my project going to be. Why? Because action is going to, or at least car action is going to create you some uh, basic parts that they need that are basic files that are on some folders. So here you put the action description name. It's going to be test the scene with the sample and the collection name that you want. The description name is going to be like the son, the, the child of the collection. The collection is going to be introductory introduction to action and here you can create splines, groomable splines, custom geometry, spheres or cards. We are going to work with splines and randomly across the surface rows from columns or specified points. I'm going to work with specifying with randomly and placing and snapping guides. I'm not going to work with controlled expressions right now. I'm going to work with placing and snapping guides. That's going to be guides that I'm going to create. As you can see here, I have my description. If you go to four, you're going to be able to see some X's or crosses on each face. That's one to say, or that the meaning of that is that X didn't work it. And we can see it here. If I go to a tree, the viewport is smoothing selection, you can be able to see all the X's. Now, I have here my action control options that we're going to see at a later time. And also we can, we can see everything here again. As we started working on uh, action guides, we need to set the first guide. And for putting the guides, we need to create it from here. I click here. And I'm going to be able to click and to create my first guide. Now, when I hit here, that is the preview, you are going to be able to see the first guides that are going to be around there. So it's not going to happen with the first guide only. I need to put more than one guide to be able to see one side of the interpolation. 
So the guides are the yellow parts and the hairs or splines are the ones that are interpolated. You can select the guides, you can scale them, and if the guides keep like that after you release the scale tool, you have a problem there, you can see how to solve it on lesson three. And that's going to create a new guide that it's been affected and you can add more guides also the guides are going to affect certain parts and they are going to try to interpolate from the uh, position that you have here and to move the guides you have the scope tool here that is going to be able to scope and to move the guides and you can also scope them or move them with the guide control points that you're going to be able to move from here that will be all for the guide lesson creation and see you on the next lesson.